Hey everyone, it's me, Shelby. Today I want to talk to you all about self-love. I know a lot of times when we think of self-love, we think of treating ourselves. Like treating ourselves to a gift, like an outfit. Treating ourselves to a dessert, or a vacation, or a massage. And yes, that is absolutely self-love. You know, treating yourself well is self-love. Pampering yourself, yes, self-love. But I think there's a lot more to self-love that people don't talk about. And I also think that there's a fine line between treating yourself and spoiling yourself rotten. Like, too many gifts makes you broke. Too many treats makes you fat. You know, like, don't overdo it. There is a time to treat yourself. When you work hard and you deserve it. And there's a time to not. There's time to actually work hard, to take action. I think the first thing when it comes to self-love is taking time out to get to know yourself. Sitting down with yourself, spending some time alone and getting to know your goals, your dreams, your hopes, your wishes, what you like about yourself, who you want to be when you grow up, what you don't like about yourself, how you can change those things. You know, celebrate those things that you like about yourself, but be gentle and accept those things that you don't like about yourself. Love yourself enough to work towards changing those things. Know your value, know your worth, believe in you. You can be whoever you wanna be. You can achieve your dreams, and you can do whatever you set your mind to. Believe that. I think an important part of self-love is being on your team. Because God knows that a lot of times it doesn't feel like anyone's on your team. Like, you'll go out in the world and you're like, I have this big dream, and the world's like, haha, prove it, you suck. And you have to come home and say, okay, I got this instead of tearing yourself down. And I, I know a lot of us are in the habit of just tearing ourselves to pieces, sometimes even before the world will even do it, because we're afraid. And it's like, no, love yourself. Whose team are you on? Know your worth. Believe in yourself. You have to say, I am strong. I am beautiful. I am smart. I am capable. I am limitless. I achieve. I am successful. And when people throw negative shit at you, you say, reject. You can keep that. Not for me. Don't put limits on me. You don't know me. I am Shelby. You are you. You have to look in the mirror and say, I love me. I got this. Go me, go me, go me. All me, all me, all me. You know, turn up for yourself. Because God knows it is a tough world sometimes. And you deserve that love. And you need that love. You need to light your candle if you're going to light anyone else's. You got to fill your cup if you're going to fill anyone else's. You know? But also coming with knowing yourself and believing in yourself and having that love for yourself makes it easier to have the self-discipline enough to go out and make a change, make a difference and achieve your dreams. And I think that's another big part of self-love that people don't talk about is self-discipline. You know, our parents would be like, yeah, I smacked you because I loved you. It's the same with yourself, you know, those things that you don't like about yourself. Accept them, be gentle, but love yourself enough to be like, we got to change them. That little extra poundage, well, we got to say no to dessert. We got to say yes to the gym. We got to get our ass to the gym if that's waking up earlier. Oh, you want more money in your account? Well, we got to say no to buying those extra gifts and start saving. 
oh, you want to be a better person. You want to see your dreams come true and be more productive. You want to love yourself more. Well, you have to say no to those toxic people that make you feel hard to love. You have to say no to those toxic friends, those toxic family members. You have to say no to that McDonald's dick and Taco Hill, those toxic partners. You know, you can't be afraid to spend time alone. Self-love, honestly, if you love yourself, you never really feel alone. That time is productive time. That time is getting to know yourself. That time is working on your dreams. That time is resting and pampering yourself. All of that time is love. And I think too many people are afraid to be with themselves. Too many people don't know who they are. Too many people don't know what they want. Too many people are feeling some type of way and don't even know they can change it. Like jealous behavior, resentful behavior. Do you know that your happiness is your own responsibility? And it's your responsibility to work towards happiness. It's your responsibility to light your candle. And if you want people to treat you better, you have to start putting your foot down and saying no to the people who don't treat you the way you want to be treated. You have to love yourself enough to say no and reject to anything that you don't deserve because you know your worth and you know what you deserve. You love yourself enough and people see it. You show people how to love you by how you love you. You inspire people to love themselves. That's self-love. That's what I wish for everyone. And I am currently working on it. I'm not perfect. I am working on the self-discipline. I am working on the self-love and acceptance. Actually, I'm working on it all. But I think that's how we teach each other. So many people are like, oh, I wish they t taught self-love in school. And it's like, yeah, me too. But if we sat around and waited for them to do it, it's going to take too long. And I already missed the boat. You know? We got to teach ourselves. We have to teach our loved ones, our friend, friends and family members. They'll see us loving ourselves. Maybe they'll learn how to love us and love themselves too. Don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I have lots more videos to come and lots more love to give. Peace.